For the last two years, industries and consumers throughout the world are facing shortages of one of today's most ubiquitous goods, integrated circuits. Integrated circuits, or semiconductor chips, have penetrated our lives in such measure that almost every device in our household contains some type of chip. They are, of course, necessary for our laptops, mobile phones and other gadgets, but modern cars, agricultural equipment, cash registers, ATMs and many more, cannot be made without chips either. Actually, according to an analysis by Goldman Sachs, at least 169 industries have been impacted and the shortage is being felt more and more each month in every country. The automotive industry has been taking the greatest toll of all. Some car factories had to halt production, and their sales declined since they can't make enough cars to sell. Computer parts are also harder to find and more expensive, and the shortage has affected the medical device market too. But how could one of the leading world industries, that has been driven by new technologies for decades, become enmeshed in such a large-scale shortage? Let's dive into the potential reasons and try to find out. COVID-19 Pandemic As many other aspects of our lives, the pandemic influenced chip production and trade too. In fact, COVID-19 and its snowball effect are regarded as main reasons for the shortage. At first, due to lockdowns, some chip production facilities were shut down temporarily. Trade and transport sectors also slowed down a bit at the beginning of the pandemic. All of this led to the depletion of inventories. Sometime later, as people realized that remote work and remote learning were here to stay, a great surge in demand for computers and other consumer electronics followed. At the end of 2020, computer sales grew around 26% over the previous year, instead of around 6% as was predicted in 2019. Higher demand naturally created shortages at chip manufacturing facilities that were unprepared for these new levels. Frightened by the shortage, many chip customers began buying more components than they needed, which fueled up the already ongoing crisis. China-United States Trade War United States imposed restrictions on Chinese companies in September 2020, as part of the economic conflict with China. Since China is one of the leading chip manufacturers, American companies in need of chips were left without one of their biggest supply sources. They tried to use other manufacturing plants, such as those in Taiwan or Korea, but this wasn't enough since these companies were already producing at their maximum. On the other hand, China, wanting to become independent from other countries in terms of chip supply, began stockpiling as many chips as possible. Weather and fires Coincidentally, two large chip companies from Japan, one of them supplying 30% of microcontroller units used globally in cars, caught fire in 2020 and 2021. A severe winter storm forced the closure of two chip plants in Texas in February 2021. And Taiwan experienced its worst drought in 50 years in 2021, which became a great problem for its chip manufacturers who use large amounts of water to clean their components. Prognosis This crisis has multiple causes and it's difficult to find a quick solution. Some predictions say that the shortage will likely last at least all the way to 2023. It's tremendously complicated and expensive to build a new chip factory. Although many companies have started working on them, only a few will come online before 2024. And since the chip industry has been known to be cyclical, with surges in demand followed by sudden declines, many potential investors are hesitant to start new factories, since they might be left with no profits once the shortage is over. Most of us will not feel any harsh consequences of this crisis, apart from waiting a few more months for a gaming console, or paying some extra money for a mobile phone. But since chip shortage affects supply of goods such as cars and medical devices, we should certainly take it seriously. 
This event may serve as one more reminder of how much the world has become interconnected, and may be an opportunity to learn new ways of planning and preparing for potential market crises in future that might be of greater magnitude. What are your thoughts on this one? Have you felt the shortage yourself? Do you have any other ideas about its causes? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more facts.